Hi everyone, David here from the technical team at DMS. In today's video, we'll be having a brief overview of the Superstatic 449 heat meters. Uh, should you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave us a comment in the box below or give us a call to our sales team in the office. The Sontex Superstatic 449 is a domestic sized heat meter uh, available in sizes of 15 and 20 mil connection size. Uh, these are both with a BSP threaded union connection. Uh, the 15 mil is available as a QP 1.5 model and then for the 20 mil there is an option available of either the QP 1.5 or a QP 2.5. This range of metering uh, conforms to MID class 2 uh, for its accuracy. This allows it to be used for billing applications but also it enjoys great popularity on the RHI tariffs both for the commercial and the domestic RHI installations. Uh, it uses fluid oscillation similar to the other already popular superstatic meters on the range from Suntex. Uh, this means there's no moving parts internally in the meter and it does allow it to be used with glycols so it is able to be used with solar thermal applications, also with air source, ground source, uh, water source heat pumps uh, and even on smaller branches of biomass systems as well. Uh, the, because of the measuring type, the meter can be used in either a horizontal or a vertical plane uh, of installation and this bracket on the meter can be rotated to suit as such. Uh, the 449 is available to be either mains powered and you'll get one of these modules with it as standard or it is also available as a long life battery version which will last roughly about 10 to 11 years uh, and they are both fully replaceable or switchable should you require it. The 449 comes as standard with a MBUS output and also two open collector pulsed outputs. Uh, it also has two module slots that allow further expansion on this in the realms of RS232, Modbus, Backnet, just to name a few. Uh, for a full list, get in touch with us or have a look at the, the data sheet on our website. Uh, but it's got enough capability to be used on data logging networks with some flexibility as well. Thank you very much for watching today. Please subscribe to the channel to catch our future content and we'll catch you next time.